All right, I'm going to try to make this review a little quicker than the last ones. They've been getting kind of excessively long. This is part three of building the Enterprise, the 1 350th scale polar lights Enterprise. Um, I'm doing my own independent lighting in this. I'm not bought a lighting kit or anything. Uh, probably by the time I finish it up by piecemeal, it would have been worth buying the uh, lighting kit, the one that's uh, available from Trek Modeler for $169 because I probably wrapped up a good $60, $70 into LED and wiring so far as well as a lot of sweat. Anyway, uh, what you can see is a dry fit together of the uh, engineering hull, the fuselage. I've got the pearlescent coating on that um, as well as the pretty much the final paint job. I uh, want to be able to get the windows fitted in place. Uh, I don't think I'll do that tonight, probably during the week, during the week, uh, and of course get back on this next weekend. Um, I do have the Arboretum and the uh, hangar bay uh, mounted to the lower fuselage and uh, ready to go. And uh, as you can see, I've removed the lights for the time being, but I have set in uh, my flashing lights, uh, or formation lights as they call them, uh, beneath the uh, bottom of the hangar bay and at the very center of the lower fuselage. Uh, black coating, I uh, got that on the uh, nacelle pylons and also the gooseneck, as I like to call it, and everybody calls it the neck, the gooseneck, whatever. I haven't figured out whether or not I'm going to cut the front of the gooseneck open. Um, it's blocked behind the um, photon torpedo bays. And I was thinking about lighting those up. I'll just kind of wing that as I go. And of course, last night you saw some of the shuttles that I'd finished and uh, some other parts as well. That's about it. Um, no major progress at this point. I have decided to go ahead and run the wiring, like I said, through the um, brass tubing that serves as a support for this model and run the... Um, lighting from the base in independent circuits. Have the flashing formation circuit on one uh, button and power source, the main uh, lights for the interior on another power source, and um, have the engine uh, nacelles and the um, impulse engines probably on another power source. That's it for tonight. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, I'll show you uh, real quick the sensor dish as it's lit up. And I'll do that uh, in just a second here, and um, we'll see you in part four.